Alright guys, come on, take back to Liverpool, Crum has 14 on FIFA 14. And Arsenal are 5 points clear with Liverpool and Chelsea at the top of the league. No! 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 <laughs> yeah, things are looking really good for Arsenal. But anyways, it's deadline day. Whoa, what the fuck? Germany won the World Cup. They beat Spain. Rooney went to Real Madrid. Oscar went to Milan. Are you serious? I can't believe Oscar's gone to Milan. I fucking love Oscar. Oh, well, I'm glad Shrek went to Rome, dude, because that stops Rome, dude, from sniffing our asses at every transfer window for Suarez. I think we're going to inquire about Coke, or is it Cocky, or is it Cock? I don't fucking know what his name is. But look at that face. Just look at his face, and look at his hair as well. He's got a David Vieira hair style. You know what David Vieira is? He's a fucking legend. I love David Vieira. Is it me, or does this Cocky, or Coke, or whatever his name is? Look like he has Ramsey's face and David Villa's hair. We would consider a bid in the region of 17 million. That's alright, good price for Coke, eh, that? We'll give you 12 million and scale, how about that? Yeah, so accept an offer for Coke or Coke, what his fucking name is. What is his name? Do any of you legends know how to pronounce this guy's name? Because it's either Coke or Coke, or is it Cock? It can't be Cock. If it's Cock, I'm not buying him. Because the Liverpool fans love fucking Cock on the back of the shed, all the real bad. Make sure your legends let me know how you pronounce his name. What a legend, you don't even want to pay him. What a fucking legend. I'll put him as crucial first team player because that's what he's going to be. Look at his hair. Yes, he's accepted a contract offer. Welcome to Liverpool, Coke or Cock or Coke or whatever your fucking name is. So I'll just call you Cock. What the fuck? Everyone wants storage. And where the fuck are they got fame? Where are you from? Fuck off, Everton. You're not having storage. Go get fucked. Daniel Sturridge belongs at Liverpool. Oh. Daniel Sturridge. Daniel Sturridge belongs at Liverpool Football Club in red. He will never be seen in blue again. Even if you offered me 300 million, I'd tell you to fuck off. Oh shit, there's only one hour left. I don't think I'll be able to get the brick shit house, Pape. I'm gutted. Arsenal signed Dzeko. That's actually a good sign, isn't it? I like Dzeko. Dzeko seems like a nice guy in real life. There's not many nice guys in football, really. But let's be honest, even fucking Hitler would be nice if he got paid that much money that Dzeko probably gets paid. He probably gets paid in fucking gold coins. Subotic went to Napoli. Get in, Rafa. You gotta love Rafa. He don't mess about Rafa with his transfers. Liverpool's biggest transfer? Are you serious? We just signed Cocky and El Shuawi in control. And you're saying us selling Lucas was the biggest transfer? What a load of shit. The fans questioned me selling Lucas. Are you serious? Are you seeing the players I brought in? In real life, all the Liverpool fans around the world would start fucking dancing if I signed Cocky, El Shuawi and sold Lucas. I'm sorry I couldn't sign you, Papa. Don't look at me like that. But don't you worry, Papa. I'll sign you in the next transfer window, I promise. Fucking hell, I've got to wash my back now that I've not signed Pape. He's going to kick the shit out of me if he finds me. A lot of your legends have been saying I should have three at the back, and that's what I've done now. I've got the brick shit house Colo Torre and Saka at the back with Daniel Agger. And Matuidi and Stevie, fucking G in the defensive midfield. I've also got Koki on the right and Elshu on the left. With our little magician Coutinho behind Suarez and Daniel Sturridge. Daniel Sturridge. Just look at that team. Right, we've got some team called fucking Cheltenham in the Cock Cup. Let's fucking sim it because who gives a shit? Yes, we absolutely kicked the shit out of them for no get in. Right, we've got a press conference for the Newcastle game and I think we're going to unnerve Ben Arthur because he's right overrated prick. He has matches where he's quality and he has like 500 matches where he's shit. He's just so inconsistent. He's a bit like Nanny because he's inconsistent as well. Oh, at least he ain't a diving little prick like Nanny anyway. Right, let's kick the shit out of Newcastle. Hey, referee, did you just see what he did? He just got a knife out and shanked him. Oh, beautiful. Go on, Kuta. Oh, look at that. Outside of the foot. I could fucking cry in a minute now. Go on, Sturridge. Cross his son. Go on, get on it. Oh, fuck off, Crow. Your shit. Oh, go on. Go on, Sturridge. Get on that fucking tricycle, son. Go on, do some skill. Oh, beautiful. Go on, Sturridge. Oh, how did Crow save that? Go on, Sturridge. Use that piss, son. Use that piss. Swire's got your more bike, son. Go on. Go on. Oh, he better that. Oh, Suarez. Cross it, Suarez. Go on, Sturridge. Oh, the bar. Go on. Who the fuck's Silas Cook? Go on, Cook. Shove your cock in his eye. Oh. Oh shit, that's a great ball. Go on, Minule. Oh, look at that for Minule. He's like, have it, son. Go on, Sturridge. Get on your fucking moped, son. Go on, Sturridge. Run. As if fucking David Luiz's dad could get close to Sturridge. Ooh, that's all for him. Oh, why the fuck are Newcastle playing Stoke football? It's getting on my nerves. Ooh, he looks like a fucking sumo wrestler, him. 
Yeah, Seriously, he's lost weight recently. I swear he's got the same hair as the sumo wrestlers. Bullet it, Minulay. Go on, Sturridge. Go on, your motorcycle. Oh, Suarez, what's he doing up front? Go on, Suarez. Hey, piss off, defender. You can't mark Suarez like this. Hey, what was that? Go on, Eddie Ray. Go on, El Shua, are we? Yes, El Shua. What the fuck's he doing? He didn't used to play for Newcastle, did he? Why is he doing that? Oh, it's beautiful. Get on your fucking tricycle. So hey, fuck off, David Luiz is dad. David Luiz has got better hair than you, son. He's got miles better afro than you. Oh, he's through. Go on, Coutinho. Shoot, son. Yes, Coutinho. Look at this beautiful play. Look at this volley from Coutinho. I fucking love Coutinho so much. He's our little Ronaldinho, he is. Yes, that's a great win. Arsenal beat Liverpool 2 0 on Saturday. And to be honest, I know Liverpool were going to lose as soon as I saw Flanagan named on the fucking team sheet. When I saw that Flanagan was playing, I was just like, Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! Yeah, I started having a fucking nosebleed when I heard that Flanagan was starting. I just knew it wasn't going to win. Liverpool without Glenn Johnson is just. We're just so shit without Glenn. He's just so good. He's so underrated. And let's be honest, Flanagan's just shit. He really is. But obviously, he's going to be shit because he's only a young lad and he ain't got much experience. But to be fair to Flanagan, he wasn't the shittest on the pitch, it was fucking Suzuko. He was absolutely horse shit. Right, we got a Europa League match, it's fucking Simnis. Who gives a shit about Europa League, really? Yes, 1 3 0. Koke scored, get in Koke. But yeah, back on the Liverpool match. Suzuko was so shit that everyone's Enrique back now. But I'll be honest, most of the team was shit. Especially our midfield. Gerard and Lucas were so shit. Especially Lucas. Henderson and the brick shit out Sacco are easily our best players. Sacco was brilliant throughout the whole game. Even when he went fucking left back. He went left back and he was still boss. Sacco's been quality, you just have to admit it. You do. Sacco's been absolutely quality ever since he joined. He had a bit of a shaky first match, but that was his first match in the Premier League. What do you expect? Do you expect him to score a goal with his dick? Could do yet? Well, actually, I do. Cause he's Saka. He could probably do that. But anyways, we've got Aston Villa next. Let's headbutt the shit out of them. But back on the Arsenal versus Liverpool game. There's loads of Arsenal fans saying that May Saka and Koscielny stopped SAS. I fucking hear that nickname for Suarez and Sturridge. SAS. What the fuck? It sounds like a place where you'd buy a fucking sofa, doesn't it? SAS. Fucking hell. It sounds like DFS. Or fucking SCS or whatever fucking plays me by surfers. But yeah, Koscielny and May Saka didn't stop Suarez and Sturridge. Because our midfield was so shit that Suarez and Sturridge had nothing to feed on. They had hardly any chances because our midfield didn't set them any up. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention is Ramsey's goal was fucking brilliant. That was unstoppable, that goal. But it had to be Ramsey and Kazal to score, didn't it? I predicted that for fuck's sake. I just knew they would score. But one of the main things I learned from that match is we badly need a defensive midfielder. Because Lucas is just so average, it's unbelievable. Go on, Suarez. It, son. What's Coutinho doing in the box? He's like the smallest fucking player in the world. Fuck off, Ben Teke. Yeah, Stevie G. Don't take no shit. Even Ben Teke's scared of Stevie G. Hey, referee! Did you just see what he did to Coutinho there? Fucking ban him for life. You don't have to touch Coutinho like that. Go on, Stevie. Get on your tricycle, son. Go on, pass it to Sturridge. Go back on your tricycle. Oh, he's back on his tricycle. Go in your more bike, Coutinho. Why is he in the fucking box? He's the smallest guy in the world. Oh, fuck off. Stevie G didn't cross like that. Stevie G could cross with his dick. That's how good he is. Thank you very much, Alan. Oh, shit. Fuck off. Oh, for fuck's sake, Ben Teke. You just can't stop that brick shit house. Him and Lukaku. Fucking hell. It's a good job we have Sacco, otherwise I'd cry. It literally took Minule out, yeah, <laughs> look at that. He fucking need Minule in the head, but Minule is not going to get up and complain because Ben Tekio led put him to fucking Japan. Oh, for fuck's sake, I was just putting Sousa on and it fucking crashes. Are you serious? This game doesn't like Sousa, obviously. I can't believe I have to play this match again. Go on, Suarez. Oh, the post. I hit the post about 600 times a game. Oh, I've just did the post from a fucking cross. Oh, that's beautiful. Go on, so Hey, referee, see how high his foot was? He could have took Suarez's teeth out. Oh, that's a beautiful cross. Oh, no, he fucking scored. Hey, sit down, Ben Teke. Oh, go on, Suarez. Oh, that was shit, Suarez. Oh, that's a beautiful ball. Go on, Stuart, shoot, son. Oh, the fucking goose and save that. That's not beard power, that's fucking bold power. Oh, end of the fucking draw. Oh, well. Suarez wants to win the Premier League this season and he thinks that Liverpool can win it. What you smoking? 
Yeah, I don't know what's, why has he been smoking. Because even I have to admit we won't win the league. But I do think we'll get top four. I understand why Suarez said that. Because there is a possibility that we could win it. But I don't think we will win it. And I don't think Arsenal win it, to be honest. But yeah, I don't think Arsenal and Liverpool win it. Because even though they have really good teams, the squads aren't as good as Chelsea and Man City. So I think Chelsea or Man City will win it. But don't worry, I think Arsenal will finish second. And I think Liverpool will finish fourth. But anyway, he's got Sunderland in the cock cup. I'm going to sim this because I don't give a shit about the cock cup. What, we got beat? How the fuck did Sullivan beat us up? Oh, well, it's only a cock up anyway. But back on the top teams in the Premier League, Spurs don't look very good, to be honest. Even Man U could finish above Spurs. That's how bad it's looking for Spurs. Arsenal look way better than Spurs. I mean, I hate to say it because the Spurs fans won't like to wear that. Anyway, he's got Watford next. Let's absolutely destroy the shit out of them. But what do you legends think? Do you agree that Spurs look quite shit? And that Arsenal and Liverpool won't win the league, but they'll be in the top four, definitely. Make sure you legends let me know. Go on, Suarez. Hey, referee! Oh, fuck off, that's a foul, but that foul on Suarez won. This referee must be related to Patrice Evra. Oh, that's beautiful. Go on, Sturridge, yeah, he's holding me back. Referee, you see how far his hand up was up Sturridge's ass, eh? That's fucking illegal, that ref. Call Crown Watch. Oh, that's beautiful. Go on, Suarez, what a touch. Go on, Suarez, Houston. Yes, Luis Suarez. Whoa, what the fuck's he doing? Where did he land that in prison? What the fuck? Why the fuck was he bouncing his ass on the floor then? That was fucked up, that. Huh? Don't do it ever again. Hey, referee just pulled the shit out of Coutinho there. Oh, yellow card. Do you just see what he did to Coutinho here? Yeah. Look at this, he just fucking swung out. Look at that, he just pulled the shit out of him. Go on, Sturridge, you son. Oh, he's been right for as well. What a goal. Daniel Sturridge. Oh, he's doing a Sturridge dance even though you don't even fucking do that in real life. What a fucking goal. This is his right foot as well. That's Daniel Sturridge. Daniel Sturridge. Oh, that's a great ball, Suarez. Go on, Sturridge. Chip the bastard. Oh, that was shit. Oh, that's a great ball. Go on, El Shuari. Oh, that touch. He had a touch of a rapist there. That was awful. Go on your tricycle, Suarez. Go on, bite the bastard. Oh, <laughs> nice one, Suarez. He tried to set the fucking keeper up. Whoa, look at that. Fuck off, keeper. He did not wrong there. Hey, referee. You better send him off for that. Who the fuck does he think he's snapping here? Sam would have fucking destroyed him in real life. Yes, that's a good win, that. The biggest shock of the weekend was that Newcastle beat Chelsea. And to be honest, when I heard that, I was just like... He got fucked up! Yeah, Mourinho got fucked up. I can't believe they lost to Newcastle. Even Sunderland beat Newcastle. But what do you expect? It is Mourinho. He's a bit arrogant, to be honest, and very ignorant. Right, we got another Europa League match. Let's fucking sim it, because who gives a fuck? Oh, the bus antenna must have been locked in fucking Gary Glitter's basement or something. What's going on here? Oh, yeah, there they are. Yes, one two one. Get in. Oh, Suso scored. Go on, Suso, son. What? Sterling wants more wages? You're fucking 19 years old. Actually, I'm not surprised he wants more wages because all the money has to pay out to women because he beats women. Sterling, you know, he's been to golf for beating up a woman. He wants 60k a week. Right, there's your money, you greedy bastards. Stop beating women up before I sack or fucking beat you up. Anyway, he's got Man City next. Let's punch the shit out of him. We can't lose to Man City because they're title favourites and we want to be up there for the title. It's Liverpool Football Club. There's Coutinho. Look, you got to love Coutinho. you just got to love him. Actually, talking about Coutinho, apparently I'll let come and you're going to bid for Coutinho. Coutinho in January. Stay the fuck away from me. Yeah, stay the fuck away from Coutinho. If I let go go near him, I hope we send Sacco to fucking deal with him because he'll destroy him. He's our little magician. We lose our little magician and we got fucking Lucas. Liverpool without Coutinho is like bread without butter. Like Ferdinand without cocaine. Like Man United without referees. Like Ashley Young without Darwin. Like Wenger without kids. Like Alonso without a legendary beard. It's like Van Persie not being a complete Judas grey head cunt. Oh, it's beautiful storage. Go on, Suarez. Shoot, son. Oh, fuck off, Joe. Go on again. Oh, that was shocking, that cocaine. It's not like fucking cocaine, doesn't it? Oh, it's a beautiful ball. Hey, referee. El Shuaru was on side there. Look at that. Hey, ref. He's on there, ref. That's bullshit. That red line means fuck all. You shove that red line up your ass. There's that donkey cliche, what a shit left back he is. He has to be one of the worst left backs ever. I bet Arsenal fans are right glad when they sold him. 
Wait up, Mitch. Fucking hell, he took Sam out then. That was a very boring game. That man City have got a right rock hard defence. But yeah, back on that letter, come with you bidding for Coutinho in January. If they really want Coutinho, they're going to have to give us Diego Costa or they can fuck off. Bid what you want, but Coutinho is priceless. Losing Coutinho is like losing one of your balls. But what do your legends think? Do you agree that losing Coutinho is like losing one of your testicles? Because it essentially is. Coutinho is too important to lose. And Suarez and Sturridge. So yeah, make sure you let me know. But anyways, I hope you all have a great day. And see you later.